Hey guys, we're going to be reading the story, My Teacher is a Monster, by Peter Brown. And she's saying, no, I am not. My teacher is a monster. No, I am not. Bobby had a big problem at school. Her name was Miss Kirby. And look, he's throwing a paper airplane and she says, Robert! Move it or lose it, Miss Kirby stomped. Settle down, Miss, K Miss Kirby roared. No recess for children who throw paper airplanes in class. Miss Kirby was a monster. Bobby spent his free time in the park trying to forget his teacher problems. But one Saturday morning, on the way to his favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. Bobby wanted to run. He wanted to hide, but he knew that would only make things worse. And look, he's raising his little hand. Robert, you don't need to raise your hand out here. What were you going to say? I was going to say, hello, Miss Kirby. Hello, Robert. I like your enormous hat, Miss Kirby. Thank you, Robert. Miss Kirby, it's really strange seeing you outside of school. I agree. And then they're just sitting there. There was an awkward silence and then a gust of wind changed everything. That's my favorite hat. My dear old granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. And Robert said, got it. Oh, Bobby, you are my hero. I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. You're welcome, Miss Kirby. And then the ducks are going quack. Those ducks sure do like you. Quack, quack. They know I enjoy quacking with them. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. When they were all cracked out, Bobby had an idea. You should see my favorite spot in the park. Be careful. Yes, Miss Kirby. This is lovely. And then Miss Kirby had an idea. And she gives him a piece of paper and he makes a paper airplane out of it. That's what he got in trouble at school for, wasn't it? Bobby tossed his paper airplane into the sky and it flew and it flew and it flew. I think that was the single greatest paper airplane flight in history. I think you're right. Hmm, what do you notice is happening to Miss Kirby? Does she look a little less like a monster? <laughs> By lunchtime, Bobby and Miss Kirby were happy they had bumped into each other, but they were ready to say goodbye. See you Monday, Bobby. Bye, Miss Kirby. Coming through. Back at school, Miss Kirby still stomped. And then the bear said, roar. Miss Kirby still roared. Great job, Bobby. But was Miss Kirby still a monster? Robert. <laughs> the end. So she came back out a little bit, didn't she? All right, now I want you to think about this story a little bit. And how did Miss Kirby change after the way Robert changed? So at the beginning of the story, Robert thought she looked like a monster, right? And then after they spent some time together in the park, what started happening? How did Miss Kirby change? So I want you to think about that. And write or draw to tell me, how did Miss Kirby change and why do you think she changed? Why do you think Robert started to see her differently? I want you to think about that and write or draw about that.
All right, thanks for listening to My Teacher is a Monster, and I will see you guys later.